Cortes. Uh, and may, may I reiterate my position, like we were in Zambales. Uh, that, that statement was made before the incident again. Uh, and, uh, yung, basta tayo, we will be fearless. In dealing with West Philippine Sea, no let up. Okay? We will continue to assist and be fearless with the Hague, Hague uh, ruling. Okay? In a civilized world, in a civilized time, we must be guided by law and order. And that includes our international partners and organization must continue to recognize our sovereign rights. We will be fair dealing with it. But to top it all, we will be loyal to the country, to Filipinos, and especially to the Fisher's folks. We will Is Comorino should be disqualified from presidential run? Many issues hound this new fight mayor. Manila mayor and presidential candidate Francisco Isco Moreno Tumagoso should be disqualified. Moreno is abusing his powers and prerogatives as city mayor of Manila. Elected city mayors in 2019, mayor is expected to do his job at city hall. If he is to travel outside of his city an official time, it must be in relation to his duties as city mayor. Anything outside of those parameters constitutes graft and corruption. This new fight city mayor in OPS for a little more than two years is so full of himself that he is now running for president. Moreno enjoys the financial support of undisclosed oligarchs as seen in his endless expensive pre-election commercial promoting images. The, co the continuous television broadcast of Moreno commercials cost hundreds of millions of pesos. Moreno refuses to explain where he got the money for those commercials. His salary as city mayor is not enough to shoulder those expenses. That's not all. After Moreno announced his presidential run, Moreno has been busy campaigning nationwide. His handlers refer to his mini visits to the provinces as listening trips, a euphemism of partisan campaign sorties. By my own tally, Moreno recently presided in an oath-taking ceremony of his supporters at the Quezon City in Circle and in Pampanga. He also attended the inauguration of the Mactan Cordoba Bridge in Cebu and he visited Subic in Sambales to listen to the people. What involvement the city mayor of Manila has in activities in Quezon City, Pampanga and Sambales is a mystery. The partisan nature of Moreno's campaign sorties in those areas is confirmed by the streamer extolling him and subtle references to his being the next president of the Philippines. Moreno's partisan activities outside of the city of Manila took place on official time and have absolutely nothing to do with his duties as city mayor. Every time Moreno leaves Manila for his uh, listening sorties in the provinces, Moreno is not in his office to perform his duties and responsibilities as city mayor. While he is busy outside Manila, Moreno continues to draw his salary as Manila's mayor. That's enough ground to file anti graft charges against Moreno. Any taxpayer can file the anti graft complaint in the office of the ombudsman. Basic decency demands that if Moreno is going to be occupied with his campaign, 
for the presidency, he should resign as city mayor so as not to prejudice the interest of the city of Manila and its people. Apparently, Moreno does not understand the meaning of decency. Observers suspected that Moreno refuses to resign his lofty post as city, of, as city mayor because Moreno gets his campaign funds from big businessmen in Manila who need to be in good graces of City Hall in order to keep their trade viable. City Hall, after all, can make entrepreneurs endure a, a lot of hardship through permit requirements and other bureaucratic, bureaucratic red tape. Since Moreno's aforesaid sources outside of the city of Manila have absolutely nothing to do with his duties as city mayor of Manila, the inevitable conclusion is that Moreno is already campaigning outside of the authorized campaign period set under the omnibus election code. That is enough ground for a disqualification case against him before the Commission on Election. Other issues hound Moreno aside from his suspicious refusal to explain the source of the money for his television commercials, there are complaints of ghost employees in the city hall. Also Moreno has not explained his prime real estate acquisition. Many have noticed that the extent of Moreno's wealth is in stark contrast to the way Moreno's television advertisement portray Moreno as the poor boy from Tondo. The national government has not lifted the requirement that people outdoors must wear a face shield in addition to the mandatory face mask. Moreno defied that requirement by directing that wearing face shield is not compulsory in Manila. Moreno is not yet president but he already behaves like a dictator with no regard for the role of law. His defiance of national health regulations is enough ground for the national government to take legal action against him. Undoubtedly, Moreno is campaigning only on himself and is drooling for the presidency. Moreno's vice presidential running mate is only for show so that Moreno will not look like he is interested only in his personal political advantage. Take note that Moreno's running mate is a position who could not even get himself elected to one of the two sets at the stake in the 2019 senatorial race. Also Moreno has only three senatorial candidates, one of whom lost miserably in the 2019 senatorial election. He probably count them into running so that he will not look like an isolated presidential candidate, one with nobody on the political stage with him. Moreno doesn't deserve to be president.